Hello folks. Well, it's over a year since I last showed you a Shark vacuum cleaner, but the kind people at Shark offered me this model to test. I don't have to test it on my channel. All I have to do is write a written review on Shark's website. But of course, because I have a vacuum cleaner channel on YouTube, obviously I'm going to show you this machine in action. But this video is just basically an unboxing and first look. I'll be doing a proper demo very, very soon, within a week or so of this video. So subscribe if you want to see that. This is a brand new model for the UK. It's model number VW361UK and it's a cordless vacuum cleaner. Okay, without any further ado, let's unbox it. Well, here it is, the Shark WandVac system, the ultra lightweight two-in-one cordless cleaner. Now, according to the box, this has more suction power than any other handheld under one kilogram. It has a floor mode with a grab and go for the quick everyday cleanups. Now, this machine is not what I would consider a mains powered replacement. This is definitely in the category of a quick cleanup machine. It's for those quick spillages, either on work surfaces, on upholstery, or on your floors and carpets. It's basically just a machine you keep on charge in the corner of a room, grab it for a quick cleanup. It's not for a deep clean around the home. It's a different category. So this is an ideal accompaniment to your regular full-sized vacuum cleaner. Okay, well, let's get it open. Okay, let's open this one vac system. I don't know much about this cleaner. I know it's been launched in the USA and I watched a video on Shark's YouTube channel. This might be slightly different being a UK version. So we get the instruction book. And something else in this box. Okay, not really sure what that is, but it looks like it would hold a battery perhaps. So that's the first part out. We'll soon find out what that does when I assemble the machine. And this feels like the floor head. And what I've noticed with Shark, they're using more environmentally friendly packaging nowadays. This would have been in a plastic bag, but it's in a paper bag. So this, this feels quite substantial. This is the main carpet and floor nozzle. Now, I don't think this is a duo clean nozzle, but it does have a zero M or no maintenance brush roll. Ah, oh, that's a bit different to the pictures I've seen. I think the USA version is just rubber blades. This version here, the UK version, also has these soft brushes. They are soft, so I'm assuming they're for the hard floors more than carpets because they're not rigid. But we also have these blades. So this is supposed to be an anti-hair wrap brush roll, as it says on the front, anti-hair wrap. A little bit of a new design. That's quite interesting. So I'll put that to one side. More packaging. This will be the wand. In very smart black and silver. It's plastic. Something else in this box. This is possibly a crevice tool. Yep, it's a totally new design this. There, there's nothing like it in the UK. It's quite a narrow air path there, but I'm, I'm assuming that is your crevice tool. I wasn't able to research this vacuum cleaner very well because as I said, it's brand new to the UK. Right, this is some sort of a, a brush attachment. So we've got a relatively stiff brush, and I think that'll come off, yes. 
and you can also use that on your upholstery it's got a couple of litter pickers so it's like a two-in-one upholstery dusting tool that's it that's where it clicks back in so that's the tools you get so far for your above floor jobs I think that's it for in there we've got the cleaner itself it's just a bigger version shark um, do a handheld machine similar form factor to this but this is bigger definitely and it looks like it's got a bigger dirt bin but it's only a small dirt bin so this really would have to be emptied after every use but then again as i said earlier it's not meant as a main vacuum this is for quick cleanups so i'll look at that in a bit more detail obviously it's going to need a full charge so what's in this box could be some sort of a charging stand i would think yes so that's the charging stand so we're going to have to do a little bit of assembly so i'm assuming then folks this part here i didn't know what this was for this must fit into the base so i'll clear all the packaging away i'll peruse the instruction book and we'll have a closer look at this new shark cleaner okay so i've got all the components laid out in front of me one thing i didn't show you is the mains adapter obviously we need to plug into a suitable socket outlet and this end of the mains adapter goes into the charging base so yes this is part of the charging base and this area here is storage for a spare battery and it looks like you can also charge the battery from that space as well and a spare battery will give you up to 16 minutes extra runtime. So we need to obviously slide this part onto the base until it clicks into position. And then we can take the cable from the mains adapter and we'll need to plug this in to the charging base. And Shark state that you should charge this machine for three and a half hours before first use that's the initial charge we can see here on the underside of the charging stand we've got a socket here to insert the plug you can see it's shaped a particular way so it'll only plug in one way so that's firmly in position so once I've plugged the adapter in and the one vac is on the charging stand we can leave it there to charge before first use so here's the cleaner itself. The battery is located here in the handle. So you can remove that to swap it over if you have a spare battery. And this will also charge in the charging stand when you're using another battery if you have one. That just slots into there. This is your on off switch. And this little trigger here opens up the dust compartment. So you hold it over your bin, press this little lever down and the compartment opens and empties the debris in the bin obviously you need to close it until it clicks when you're using this machine now you can attach the small tools directly on the end so this is ideal inside your car down the sides of your chairs and to release the tools you've got two levers here at the top of the handle so you just pull those up like that and then you can release the nozzle but until you squeeze those triggers the nozzle is firmly locked in place so that's a good idea and of course the upholstery and dusting tool fits on in the same manner for reaching up high for example if you've got the odd cobweb in the corner of your room you can attach the wand and then the small tools will also attach to the end of the wand so you've got a bit of an extra reach but to release the small tools you don't actually use these levers here if you want to remove the wand you would use the levers just below the handle but if you've attached any of the small tools you've got another button here on the back of the wand you need to press to release the nozzle so for cleaning carpets and hard floors of course we would connect the main carpet and hard floor nozzle and that just clicks into there and now we can use the machine 
for quick cleanups. Now I'll just double check this, but I'm assuming I will be able to use this nozzle directly onto the end of the wand vac without the need of the extension wand. So yes, you can. So if you want to give your stairs a deep clean, you can use this on your carpeted, or even if you've got stairs that aren't carpeted, you could use this dual purpose nozzle. Let's switch it on and show you the rotation of the brushes. Well, the cleaner has just switched itself off, so obviously I need to give this a full three and a half hour charge before I can demonstrate this properly. So I'll just remove the main carpet and floor nozzle. There is an indicator on the front of the cleaner that shows you the status of the battery, so I suspect when I switch this on again, we'll just get one bar showing. When the battery is about to run out, that bar will start to flash, but when it's fully charged, you'll see three bars of illumination at the front of the cleaner. So you can always check when the machine needs another charge up. There is a filter inside the Shark One Vac that you should clean about once a month. To access the filter, you first need to open the dust cup using the switch at the front. And then there's another switch here at the back, clean filter monthly, it says on it, press that and you can remove the filter and dust cup assembly. So here's the pleated filter, pull that out, clean that under running water, give it a good shake and leave that to dry up to 24 hours until it's thoroughly dry before putting it back into the cleaner. I'm sure Shark will make available spare filters on their website, so if you want to buy a spare, you can always put the spare in while the other one is drying. Once that's clean and dry, you can place it back in the assembly. There's some more, well it's not really a filter, but there's another part of the assembly you can remove for cleaning. You need to open it up slightly. There will be a click, and you can pull out this part here, and that can be cleaned under running water. Make sure, of course, you keep this metal shroud clear of any threads or fibers or pet hair. Once all that's clean and dry, you can just reassemble it. That's it, that way around, make sure it's pushed fully home. And then you can pop the filter unit back in the machine, it goes this way till it clicks and then of course just close the cover so you're ready to use the wand vac again. The charging dock does provide storage for one of the nozzles but only the crevice tool for some reason there's no storage for the upholstery nozzle. You'd think Shark could have incorporated a section here to store that nozzle, which is a little bit of an oversight, so you'll have to find somewhere else to put the upholstery nozzle. The most convenient way to charge the OneVac is in the freestanding dock with the machine fully assembled. So I've got the wand attached to the cleaner, and the carpet and floor nozzle attached to the end of the wand. So to charge it, once the dock is plugged in, you just slot it into position, it's freestanding and it's charging. If for any reason you don't want to use the charging stand, you can also charge the cleaner directly by plugging in the mains adapter into the socket here. Okay, well the Shark Wand Vac is fully charged. I'm going to do a couple of very short demonstrations to end this video, but don't forget to subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload the full demonstration, which will be following in a few days once I've got to use this machine a bit more around my home. So I've just put down a small quantity of red lentils and there's some black grit on this carpet. I can't put too much more down because of the small capacity of this machine, but as I said earlier, it's only designed for quick pickups. Okay, well, let's see if it quickly picks up this mess.
Well, first impressions, pretty good. It's picked up everything that I can see, even the black sand. OK, a quick demonstration on a hard floor, and that'll be the end of this video. Well, waste not, want not. I might as well empty the contents of the bin onto the kitchen floor. So it's a fair amount, I suppose for quick clean-ups but this will be ideal in my house I intend to keep this in a corner of the kitchen and it can be used just for picking up odd little messes and whizzing around the living room there we go okay let's test the shark one vac quick demonstration on a hard floor Well, again, pretty impressed for the results on a hard floor, despite the fact that this cleaner doesn't have Shark's famous Duo Clean brush roll, it still performed very well, and there was very little snow ploughing. So, first impressions of this machine are favourable, but of course, I'll give you my full review very soon. Let's just empty out the cleaner again onto the kitchen floor. And I'll end this video testing out this shark using it as a handheld vacuum. In the meantime, if you have any comments or questions about this cleaner, please comment below and stay tuned for the full demo video following very soon. Bye for now.